Hey kids, another Melakilla video going on here. Um, here's what we got. Uh, we have ourselves a 2007 Dodge Caliber. And uh, as it's been pointed out, it takes a special kind of person on one of these. That kind of special person was, uh, I guess, my ex-girlfriend. Um, anyway, I'm up in Michigan uh, doing this. <sighs> Tools you will need. Now this is the way I do things. I do Preston wheel bearings different than most people. I don't use the Arbor Press. Um, slide hammer to get the hub out, which is some work. Um, I'm supposed to take the steering knuckle. The steering knuckle is stupid easy to take out if you really wanted to, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, me, 32 millimeter nut off the uh, axle. 21 millimeter here, 21 millimeter here. 13, 13 for your wheel sensor. Um, 10 millimeter right here. Getting this out, you need a little cat's paw to pop out the little line. It has a little clip barbed end. Although this one wasn't installed on this side and the other one broke off when I went, did it on the other side. And then this goes in here. Now, funny thing about this, make sure, be real careful trying to get this out. You have to get it out to do this job. Um, you might be able to do it without, but I'm pretty sure you're, no, actually you can't. You have to have it out because Whatever you use, you're gonna shear it off. All right, here, the old bearings inside this. This is a, the old Harbor Freight uh, uh, wheel bearing uh, adapter set thing. I use this to remove Preston wheel bearings on the vehicle instead of using the Arbor Press. Allows you to do mobile stuff a lot easier than doing it. Uh, if you're in a shop, yeah, you pull the spindle off, you press it out with the Arbor Press if you got all the adapters, it's not that bad. But the real point of this is because this is a Dodge Caliber and there's a number of other vehicles, it's a very small number, all across different types of makes and models. The way they do them, and this is how I found this out because I never even knew this was a factor, usually you get a wheel bearing, boom, and you just press the, press the bearing in, right? You just whoosh, It just presses in. There's no right, left. You just press it in. Well, this one, if you notice, is plastic on one side and a metal dust shield right there. Well, the reason for that being is that there is a uh, ABS encoder ring. The way to find out which side it's on. Magnetic. This side, nothing. So, in case somebody's ever trying to figure this out, um, that's the one, and you want the encoder ring towards the inside. Don't be like me and have to redo the passenger side again because you pressed it in backwards and you didn't know it was a problem. Press it in, all of a sudden her ABS light's on. What the fuck? So, two ways of doing the job. You can do it right or you can do it again. Oh, I get to do it again. On that side, this side I'm going to do right. So, hope somebody learned something from this. Um, the job is actually pretty fucking easy. Otherwise, uh, uh, overall, I'm really hoping that hub is good. It looks a little rough right there. I'm going to clean it up with some emery cloth, check it with the mic, see how close it is to a press fit. And uh, if it's bad, then we got to run to the dealership and get her a new wheel hub. Um, I, they do not seem to sell them at the auto parts stores. And don't be like me and let, the, <sighs> let this thing just barely... Yeah, it's hanging. I'll probably lower the jack down just a little bit to let that touch the ground. Cause that's not a good idea. People shouldn't do that. Don't be like me. And that's Al's van who I just fixed uh, the other day from something. I don't remember what the hell I fixed, but I fixed something or other. A couple things. And fix that. Put a radiator in that while I've been up here. Put a radiator in my BMW since I've been up here in Michigan. I've just been busy. Busy little, like a little dick. Peace out, bitches.